to Connexion, guys. Uh, Thanks. We are MTV Latin America. That's right. And, uh, well, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. you have, thank uh, you, thank you. Yeah? <laughs> How's your baby? It's my, my child. Yes. Did you, Not did you the FedEx to, guy. <laughs> did you have to do the DNA <laughs> test? No. Hey, the name is very, very interesting. It's Castor. Where did yeah. you get the inspiration for the name? Uh, well, it was going to be our daughter's name if she was a boy. Actually, it was one oh, of the yeah, Gemini, the one of the Gemini twins. Yeah. It's, it goes back to, you know, son of Zeus and crazy yeah. like that. But we don't really follow mythology. But yeah. it's just a unique name and different. Yeah, because the baby is Gemini. You're right. It's a couple days Before? away, but. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Could have been. Oh, okay. He didn't want to come out. <laughs> and the first, yeah, the first one didn't get the the, the name Castor. Is that nice? Castor and the second name is... Uh... Virgil, that's my dad's name. Oh, okay. So guys, we're very excited to see you in, um, in the MTV Movie Awards playing. How do you like playing for t on TV? It's different. More cameras. Yeah. This, this particular thing is pretty decent because it's not like a you know, bunch of bands, a bunch of mm -hmm. uh, musicians or whatever. It's for the movies only. There's mm -hmm. three special artists that are chosen to represent their kind of music and we're Mm -hmm. chosen to represent heavy music, so that's a cool thing, I think, you know, yeah. to be, to be uh, taking yeah. part of something like that with, I think, mean, a lot of cool people here, mm -hmm. uh, heroes and things like that. Basically. Yeah, you, you contribute with one of the, your songs, uh, I Disappear, on the Mission, Mission Impossible 2. Right. How do you like the movie? I haven't seen the movie yet. I haven't either. I have a busy baby, actually, but I'll download it off the internet. Oh, <laughs> don't go there because if not, I have to start asking you. You know, guys, you've been in the press lately talking about Napster. You know, uh, well, no, talking, no, it's, just, it's not talking about Napster, suing Napster. Napster is different. Is this just something that Lars started the whole band? Oh, it's absolutely the whole band. Uh, <laughs> we're mainly standing up for ourselves, but whoever else wants to kind of join this fight, I mean, at the end of the day, it, it, it reflects upon all intellectual properties, you know, mm -hmm. things that you create in your head mm -hmm. and are out there, you know, mm -hmm. you're marketing them to people your way. Mm -hmm. Basically, they're taking a, you know, they're cutting us out of the deal, which is completely wrong. We're the source of it all. Mm -hmm. And there was a big reaction out of the fans, and there is a big controversy. I don't know if you've yeah, seen you know, news, it's, Rick. It's, re it's really a bummer because Napster has turned, tried to turn our fans against us, you know, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. They're saying, you know, everything should be free. And, I think if you sit back and you really realize, you know, this isn't a hobby for us, this isn't something we just kind of do for fun. This is our livelihood and the money we make goes back into creating great new things mm -hmm. and trying things like S&M and all of, you know, touring mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. you know, it will affect us, everyone on our crew, and on down the line. Mm -hmm. And many other people too. There's a certain short-sightedness about the whole thing people just see tomorrow or even a week from tomorrow instead of seeing two years or five years from now what it can become if it's not somehow governed or somehow pulled together mm -hmm. with laws and amendments that there's some kind of control for the people that actually have the right to own the music to have control mm -hmm. of the music it is what's one thing that really gets to me is that younger artists okay we all we've had a wonderful opportunity in our careers to go yeah. all over the world and play for millions of people and, and live a dream right that so many people have these people that are younger than us, the next generation that are playing music, will be robbed of that. We won't ever have the opportunity to go mm -hmm. do the cool things we got to do together, man, mm -hmm. learn together, live together, and, and play our music for people and all. It's just, it's really, you know, it's this ugly thing that that is, has a possibility of happening, that mm -hmm. they could be robbed of that, mm -hmm. that, that those bands would be, why would they want to keep trying so hard if they would, wouldn't get anything from it, or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or nothing they, could fund them to go around and play for people, you know what I mean? There has to be, yeah. you know, just, so many things can come from it. Are you actually losing money? I mean, do you stop selling more? It doesn't matter. People are stealing stuff from us. Because well, I don't what, care what if it's first? my if it's my Hummer out yeah. my driveway or my little lawn dwarf. Uh -huh. They're stealing stuff uh -huh. that's ours, and it's morally wrong. It's not a money issue at all. When it came to my mind the first time, I, I thought that I said, "Well, a lot of bands would be selling the same amount of uh, CDs. There is just." Uh, maybe another amount of people just uh, exchanging special things on internet. Sure. Uh, today, I, today. Very into what about one year from now or five years from now? Then what? Yeah. And we're very into exchanging special Absolutely. things. Mm -hmm. Use it to your advantage. All, All of the legally. shows we go out, and you can come record them and yeah. definitely trade yeah. them between. It's a special bond our Metallica fans have. But our master recordings, 
that's not that's not right. Mm -hmm. We're spending a lot of money to go record those things. I mean, if you could go into a recording studio for free and record no stuff, no problem. Okay, if everything was free, then fine. But it's what you do your job for free. You know, yeah. I mean, every day you wake up, whenever you had to wake up and come here mm -hmm. and do this and sit here for hours, but never get anything from it. Would you do it? Would you just show up just to do it? Really no, get no fun. food from it. Somebody no has nothing. to pay my bills. Exactly. <laughs> the children. We go. <laughs> the children. We're no custom. Yeah, all of a sudden, our service is free and nobody else is there. Well, when did he think? And if you have a computer, you can get it for free. But if you don't have a computer, You're screwed. then what? Yeah. If you can afford a computer, you can get it for free. It's kind of strange. So why not make it free to everyone? Go out of your restaurant. It's just only a demographic that is doing that also. It's just only it's one. Huge demographic today. Not a year from now. Huh? I mean, how many people? <laughs> I mean, it's amazing how many people are linking up to the computer radio. Uh -huh. yes, it's only a matter of time until everyone is. But I don't think that this is such a big issue in Latin America because the connectivity is really, really low. Right <laughs> you now. know? Right, right now. Really right low. now. Yeah, exactly. Once again, right now, not in the future. But what about, don't you think Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, on a happy note, I should be award <laughs> talent, medal, we play oh, Mission Impossible. We're not lawyers. That's, right. That's <laughs> right. That's what Neil Young meant. He said a cool thing. Let us worry about the music and let them worry about the Oh, in the, ca in the category, yeah, since yeah, we have yeah, the yeah. best kiss? Well, there is Lars a... Lars and Kurt. Uh, the nominated? I Disappear video. Are they nominated? No. no. Oh, wow. Well, there is a The Boys Don't Cry. There is, there is actually two couple of kisses huh? that are actually two couples of girls. Yeah. You know? And, that's cool. Uh, that's, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And Boys Don't Cry. And I have Where's the other one is in the... in the, the ones uh, we want to Huh? And the other one is in the... Where's the other? Oh, I forgot about it. I want the uh, best I want kiss. What about best like murder? No, best fight. Yeah, scene. best fight. Best, best fight. fight scene. Ed Norton fighting himself. I want him to win. I think that's <laughs> the best thing. <laughs> the best fight that's that we have. That inspired me but to hurt first myself. In the more. Fight Club. Yeah, best. Yeah, there is a very good one. Let's see where is it, man? Huh? Come on, we're Ed Norton versus himself. That that's one. My good one. vote for him. Have you ever been approached, guys, to do you know a movie? Like you know to act in a movie also? Not yet. To act in a movie. No. Really? No, a couple, uh, actually a couple to. times, but... You want to? Yeah. Yeah. A couple times, but I didn't feel it was what I wanted to do. It's pretty hard. Uh, I'd rather concentrate on Metallica. Yeah, yeah, and this last video, I disappeared, you know, pretty big production. I mean, That's a pretty good like chance to act right there. Like a movie. That's it. We're yeah. good at that, you know, acting in our own yeah. movies. We got the best. Yeah, we got a, a lot of financial backing from, you know, the move, now you're hooked up with a movie. Mm -hmm. Hollywood just said go. So this was our opportunity to just go full balls and you know we're smashing cars and it, it was a lot of fun. There was a lot to do. How close to the explosion were you? No, actually Lars. Pretty close to the explosion. Yeah. You know, That's I wasn't bad, there, but I don't think <laughs> Lars did a he was much a, of this. He stuff. was <laughs> it was a bad run. Bubble, but. He was just uh, running in a blue well, screen. I, I, yeah. I definitely had some bruises the next day. Yeah. You know, from my stunts. Yeah. And I'm thinking of probably a couple of the guys that I did the stunts with had some too. It was loads of fun. It was loads of fun. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot for coming over there. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, very nice. Thank oh, you. you're you're going to a summer tour now. Are you? Yes. You know, it's all it's our it's audience in Latin America, of course, are waiting for you, Metallica. Do you, do you have plans to go to Latin America anytime soon? Well, we weren't even supposed to tour in the summer. Mm -hmm. We told ourselves we'd take some uh, real time off, uh -huh. and it never happens. Every time the summer, the sun comes out, we want to go play outside. So we didn't want to stray too far. So we're just doing a few. It's only like 12 shows mm -hmm. in the states. But we'll, you know, we'll be back down there at one point. I'm not sure when. We gotta write some more music though. Do another record and then do a tour. Full no, tour of the world, you know, so we're gonna do a tour up. Oh, After, the the After the next round. Yeah, we all definitely have a blast down there. Yeah. Oh Absolutely. yeah, definitely. My favorite place to come. So you can say hello to all your you know, audience. You have a huge amount Hola. of fans there in Latin America. So, nos despedimos. Thanks for coming to Conexión. And uh, nos vemos. Thank you. Ciao. Bye.